Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about UDC threads, uh, about their properties, uh, how I like to use them and I'll just give you a couple of ideas how to um, maybe make the most of these threads. So stick with me and I will tie two flies, hope you'll like them and hope you'll uh, learn something new. Now I'm going to well show you a couple of tricks. Uh, how to tie uh, this kind of bodies and it's like super easy super easy stuff to do and uh, you don't need any special materials just like regular thread and I'll show you some variations as you can see here and I'll show it on photos as well so as we go through those examples I'll show us photos as well and I will tell you just exactly what I did and by the end of the video I will tie one of these flies just until the end so you can just get the idea what to do with it I mean the most important thing here is just to use your imagination as you can see uh, here I use like on all these examples together like maybe four, four different threads so I used yellow, red, green and grey and for the ribbing material I used uh, cream, brown and black and for the last one here I used glitter thread so without any further ado let's just get into uh, those examples for so for the yellow one here I used uh, UDC thread in cream this is the ba like the basic layer and for the ribbing I use this thick stream again in, tr in cream but this is uh, polyfloss small so just uh, make the foundation of this and rib it with this material or I mean you can see the difference in uh, colors here this one is obviously clear this one is more yellow so just use different shades <coughs> so same fly but let me rotate so same material just different ribs for this one I used UTC thread in brown rusty brown as you can see here and obviously it makes huge difference I mean the whole fly looks a little bit darker so I'm just touching these two flies that, that are basically the same thread for the body but the overall, overall like impression is that this one is much darker so uh, I'll just remove this one too and I'll go with the red ones so red ones are very very popular and if you want to get this effect just use small micro floss and you'll get this uh, this effect if you want a little bit darker effect just use uh, brown UTC thread that I've shown you this one and if you want a little bit even more dark uh, just use black thread like so it's quite obvious and that like by altering the ribbing you can alter alter uh, the, the overall overall uh, look of the fly so this one is oh sorry I forgot to tell you so the previous one was red obviously now this one is light olive one of my favorite colors with all of these that I've shown you and for this one I used ribs that are very very pale so cream now for the next one a little bit darker I used brown uh, brown UTC and for this one I used black and that's more or less it for the uh, brown uh, for the olive variation I mean you can use you can make whatever you want caddis mayfly merger mayfly adults so many different variations and this is like super durable thing uh, you can like no trout can destroy this body there is no trout that, that can do that now uh, I'll show you one more so let's go with another thread so again it's UTC of course I'm just showing you UTC now and this one is 
blue done. It's on my bobbin now. And I ripped this one with uh, Polyfloss Small Bite Extreme. You can use whatever. You can use, for example, you can rip it with Ultra Thread or any any thread that's like light in color. Uh, floss like uh, threads are easier because you can spin them and get that round shape or you can just make them for body flat so you can get that underbody that's like really nicely tapered without any bumps and as we advance by and alter those uh, ribbing materials there is one with brown I didn't do with black ribbing so this one is with brown there is no need to do the black because this is already contrasting enough uh, when I was doing the, the red one let me show you so as you can see this one is done with black and it's nice contrast but this one is done with brown let me just okay this one is done with brown and the contrast is not that obvious so honestly this is just extra stuff that doesn't make that doesn't make any sense to me so I like to make a little bit stronger contrasts with ribbing so it's it's going to be more visible so this one is enough and the last one last example but like this is just for this video obviously it's just your, your imagination and the materials that you have that are actually limiting you when it comes to variations so this one is done completely with the uh, done blue done UTC and uh, glitter thread orange by the extreme uh, of course I spun it to get round shape uh, and I got this slightly shiny effect this discreet a little bit but still visible to the fish and to us so this is it now I'll just uh, take one of these hooks and finish the fly. So for this one I'm using size 16 hook. You can use straight shank Gamaras hook, whatever hook you like actually. And I'm using light olive UTC. And let me just show you how I do that. So I start my thread a little bit behind the eye of the hook. Just maybe two or three reps to secure it on the hook then cut the excess and attach uh, this small floss. Now, uh, when you're attaching floss and all those fiber-like um, threads when you're dealing with them, if you have like cracked uh, skin, just cut it because you can actually cut the thread with it. Uh, these are quite sensitive threads sometimes. So, I'm just in touching turns going, this one is already being broken here as you can see so I'll just try to repair it without actually uh, unwinding the thread so in touching turns go until the place you want to end your body here so I go somewhere like this and go back in touching turns again now cut the excess Floss, like so and this is why it's very good to have those sharp um, scissors with very thin tips because you can cut materials without any excess sticking out now uh, the UTC thread is floss more or less so if you unwind it anti-clockwise if you look from the top uh, you'll actually make it flat which will, which will actually make it thinner so when you just go uh, around your hook it doesn't build up so as you can notice I'm going backwards now just unwind it a little bit more and go backwards I'm not building anything here and only taper actually so I'll return to the place where I want to end my body and now what I do because I have rotation here so this is easier for me I just Take this floss, as you can see it's fluffy, make it tight and twist it. Twist like a couple of times until it's round and tight. That's very important because when you make your first wrap, 
it should stay like this you should see that it is actually round now advance over your body in nice even wraps and this is actually important uh, the the smooth on the body is important because now i can uh, wrap this these ribs without any problems without any slipping into some gaps so my fly will be neat and nice for fish it's not important for me it is important i like to have nice fly so i mean this is this fly that i'm actually making right now is you can call it grayling candy if you like because it, it's like literally destroying graylings now with just two turn whip finish knot i'm gonna secure this thread as you can see here and i'm gonna cut off this excess let me show you the reason why i use those scissors again because there is no excess here uh, when you put some super glue or resin if you have some excess sticking out it's going to be hard sometimes it can actually cut your thread if it's very sensitive thread uh, now i'm going to use 502 super glue and this super glue is cool because it actually acts like varnish so i'll just touch it with super glue like so not much that's maybe one drop directly from the bottle now spread it with your dubbing needle let it soak into the thread let your let those ribs show uh, visually so you can actually feel them under your finger and you can actually see them and it makes beautiful contrast super natural looking uh, so super glue is making it super durable so this is actually perfect way to make a perdigon nymph or any other nymph as, uh, for that matter uh, now this super, super glue needs minute and a half to dry but as you know I already have one prepared here so I'll just stick this one into the this is my dubbing brush uh, and I'll take green one from here okay and this is it now I'm using another green thread this is Semperfly uh, Nano Silk 18.0 I'm using it because I want to actually cinch down my materials when tying this fly so since it's 18.0 it doesn't add any build up here so I can allow myself to build up uh, to use more wraps than usual this one uh, this time I'll use two CDC feathers and I will just position them like so in a V shape this is actually not necessary but you can do it in V shape because it will make a little bit more surface tension I'll show you now just align the tips and now with maybe a couple of wraps and go backwards up until how long you want your thorax to be and then fold back because this is going to be an emerger and see if those wings are too long these are so I want them a little bit shorter pull this upwards now let's check again uh, okay I'll make it shorter a little bit and now cinch it down a very important thing is to do a couple of wraps on the bear hook and then just use your scissors to cut this feather okay just in case pull it to see if it's 
stirred enough. And now I'm going to use some dubbing. I made a video about this dubbing, so just go a couple of videos behind and you'll know what I'm talking about. Squirrel dubbing mixes what I use now. Now build up the thorax. Thorax doesn't have to be very wide, actually it's counterproductive if it's too wide. Now just fold these wings towards the eye of the hook. Check if everything looks good. Well, two reps are actually necessary, not one. I made a mistake here, so two reps. Now when you rotate and check everything, you will see that nothing is running away. So you have body, you have a wing case here, a little bit of thorax here. Uh, if you want, you can just brush out a few legs and then do this and just whip finish the fly. So this is I usually do three or four whip finish. Uh, one knot has three or four turns and I do it twice. I don't varnish this whip finish knot. No need for that. Now just cut the excess and this is finished fly and as you can see it has beautiful body very smooth it will go under the surface easily these wings are actually going to hold the fly up and the reason why uh, tight CDC in V shape is because now as you can see it has a little bit more volume if it's tied together flat it's going to be like this it's actually go a bit deeper this is going to hold your fly uh, better on the surface uh, and the fly will sit like this more or less so guys uh, let me just tell you a few more things about this thread because it's actually quite beautiful thing now let's discuss another feature of this thread because it's floss like thread it actually can be used as a uh, for a split uh, wing as for a split thread technique. So when you have your thread attached and you're actually tying the fly, if you want to add sort of a detail, a little bit of uh, spikiness or whatever, for this purpose I'll, on purpose I'll just make sort of a wet fly, but it's going to be. So wet dry fly more or less so first of all you need to make your th thread flat okay so you can split it usually it's counterclockwise you need to spin it to make it flat then just put the needle inside and cut it I'll use a clip to catch my CDC here so just use half of the CDC here one and wait. Now the thread is resting on the on the device, so I need just to insert my dubbing needle into the thread, and my dubbing needle is super dull. Anyway, that's not an excuse. So just split your thread like so, and insert whatever material you want to insert inside the loop and then spin spin the bobbin hold everything together and now you can see that CDC is trapped between uh, thread strands and now you're just using your bobbin to wrap those legs here Now this fly is extremely ugly, but uh, don't let it fool you. I'm not sure how to pronounce this in French, but it's called ugly fly and it has oranges, origins like pretty long ago. Uh, I'm not sure who made it uh, first, but that guy was catching fish obviously on this fly. 
and it became famous. It's actually quite simple fly as you can see. You can just use it, you can cut with your fingers the, the CDC to length and you have like soft hackle like fly here. Uh, it's going to sit in the surface more or less. Uh, with less CDC it's going to sit deeper, with more CDC obviously it's going to be on the surface but both ways uh, it's going to catch uh, very selective fish, very spooky fish. I tried it and it's amazing fly. So guys uh, this is about UTC thread and I hope you like this video. I hope you learned something new maybe and see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.